Hey, 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 YouTube world, we are back once again. I hope you are having a fantabulous day so far. Please download, rate, review, subscribe, all the good stuff on all of our podcasting platforms, which are available below. So it looks like we're gonna have baseball again. Woo! I am excited. So it appears that given the recent reports, USA Today, Jeff Passan yesterday, it appears evident that baseball will be back in some capacity and that the season will be getting underway before July 4th has passed. They're hoping for somewhere between an 80 to 100 game season, depending on the number of double headers they can get in with such a season. Three full months of baseball, which minus off days equals uh, approximately 82 baseball games if they factor double headers in, let's say. Teams play a once-a-week doubleheader uh, on a weekday, a morning, whatever it may be. Maybe they do it on a Saturday and just go full baseball indoctrination. Whatever the case may be, let's say once a week, you're looking at a 96-game regular season. They may try to up that to 100. All you got to do is add a few more games in there. Barring any situation where the league has to stop because of coronavirus, could impact those numbers and then you would look at a postseason with neutral sites maybe beginning in October maybe November an extended playoff field probably somewhere between uh, 14 and 16 teams making the playoffs 12 12 to 16 teams probably in a playoff positioning and potentially realigned divisions that could result in Teams going to different locations based on the West in Arizona, the Central in Texas with uh, the Dallas area with the, the new Ranger Stadium and the old Ranger Stadium, and Tampa, Florida. Should be a really, really cool experience. Not for the players, however, because in those three places, it is going to be unbearably hot during the summer. And, you know, playing there every day is going to be brutal. The Texas Rangers had been doing it for many years before. They talked about how brutal some of those games could be. But ultimately, each game means more now. And that is the thing that baseball needed more than anything else, is to have less regular season games. Now, financially, they want as many regular season games as possible. But for fan interest, less regular season games means each game means more, which means less of a sample size to determine who the best team is, which means... Wackier season, wackier playoff formats, and a wacky situation come playoff time. Because you may have a playoffs constructed where each team plays a round-robin style uh, matchup where you ultimately get the top two teams from each of the extended division, or the top four teams from each of the extended divisions play each other head-to-head, -head, leads to a, a divisional series at each location where you would have six teams remaining in the playoff field. Somehow you could get to 16 theoretically or 14 or then put wild cards together. Maybe it's six from, or it's, maybe it's four from each division is the answer. Maybe the solution looks something like, uh, so you would get the four teams from each division, put them at one central locale, have them play where the division winners each get a first round bye and then the remainders have to battle it out. Whatever the crazy situation they come up with, one thing is for sure is that it will be thoroughly entertaining. I am excited to have baseball come back in the fall in whatever wacky format because it gives teams like my Padres the chance to compete at a higher level in a season that could be totally wacky, could turn out poorly for the Padres, could turn out poorly for the any team in the league, but it also could be a huge bump for some teams specifically. I think one of the biggest winners is probably going to be the Astros, just saying. Um, I'm pro crazy stuff. I'm pro no fans in the stadium or limited fans in the stadium or whatever crazy ideas they may have of putting a league together and maximizing profits from a regular season and giving us some sports in the summer months. Man, it is a cool experience to realize that baseball is going to be back in short order. And whether it's going to be wacky division realignments and different robo umpires and no fans in the stadium and playing at college stadiums and minor league ballparks, whatever it may be, 
baseball is back and it is going to be unlike any season we've ever seen and honestly if you're not if you're a baseball fan it's something that you just needed it was something different than ever before especially in the regular season mixing up the playoff format and who plays who would be fascinating at the same time if you had different divisional winners battling it out with each other this is what baseball was pleading for and ladies and gentlemen it looks like Fans and players and the league alike are all going to get what they've been asking for for many, many years.